Hello there and a very warm welcome to this edition of Culture Express on CGTN. Live in Beijing, I'm Jennifer Shum. Well, we start with the Cannes Film Festival. Martin Scorsese was given a rapturous reception at a ceremony in Cannes on Wednesday, where the director, whose career spans more than 50 years, received the honorary Coros d'Or, or the Golden Coach Award. We'll soon go live to all the action in the southeastern Chinese city, where the group of 20 leaders will be gathered at the iconic West Lake for the opening gala that will kick off yet another exciting milestone for China. Averting a repeat of last year's diversity controversy, which spawned the hashtag tag Oscars so white this time six black actors a record number were nominated welcome to the show Max great to have you with us thank you for having me back Jennifer the Academy Awards have been handed out we now know the results what were the biggest surprises for you talk about a powerful female cast Jane Fonda Candace Bergen and Diane Keaton have teamed up for Hollywood's latest comedy book club the women form a book club and surprise surprise the book of choice is none other than E.L. James's 50 shades of gray people around the world the world have been mourning the death of one of the greatest scientists of all time, Stephen Hawking. Hi, good morning. Thank you very much, Dong Ning. Well, Queen B is at it again. Beyonce has released a new album called Lemonade. Like Beyonce's other albums, Lemonade has a wide variety of styles ranging from R&B to a bit of reggae to rock and even a country twang. Videos also featured appearances by the mothers of Michael Brown and Trayvon Martin to African-American teens whose deaths from police shootings have trained a spotlight on U.S. racial tensions. The Trump administration is considering limiting the number of study and work visas for Chinese citizens, according to some reports. Now, this could have a negative effect on the U.S. as China sends the most international students there and contributes 12 billion U.S. dollars to the U.S. economy. Staying on the stage, the Irish dance troupe Riverdance is touring China once again. This year, the dancers are performing their powerful and foot-stomping show at Shanghai's Grand Theatre. Just a few years ago, you let a major advertising campaign to try to get Chinese people to stop buying ivory. Now, China's New Year law banning the sale of all ivory finally comes into effect today. How do you feel about that? And do you think that China's ivory ban will have positive effects that will lead to the protection of endangered species? You know, you've been regarded by many as the finest interpreter of Chopin, a huge compliment. It must have been quite an unusual experience for you to reimagine the classics. Can you tell us more about that? Now Bruce Lee, the man himself, he really did become the first Asian actor to break through Hollywood. Right. But in doing so, it also perpetuated the typecasting of Asian actors in Hollywood films. And speaking of crying, you do cry in this movie. Yeah. It gets, <laughs> gets pretty raw and emotional. Yeah. So tell us how you had to prepare for that. April 14, that's an important date for you because on April 14, in You're 2012, good. I remember this, in 2012, April 14, you were the first solo artist to give a concert at the 90,000 seat Bird's Nest Stadium and it sold out. I felt like I struggled with my cultural identity, probably even more so once I moved to China in 2006 because although I look the part, I had a pretty Western upbringing. Mm. So in regards to your son, will you immerse them in the Xinjiang culture completely and be happy to have them identify themselves the way the children there do? So John, it appears that in New York at least, being a street dancer is not an easy life. Can you take us through some of the challenges for a professional dancer such as yourself? And is it hard to earn a living pursuing this form of dance. The first production of Cavalia was in 2003. Since then, more than four million viewers worldwide have witnessed its magic. When international shows like this one come to China, they usually leave after they're done touring the country. But lucky for us, Cavalia is here to stay. Ghost the Musical first premiered here in the summer of 2015. And now it's back by popular demand, just in time for Valentine's Day. Mary Ma is touted as China's first star designer. And for tonight's show, she's once again infusing Chinese culture into her clothing. In 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced China's plans to create the 21st century Silk Road economic belt. Often referred to as One Belt, One Road, it is the single largest economic and development partnership in history. But as this dance drama has shown us, over time it's the cultural exchanges that will be remembered more so than the economic and political ones. Jennifer Sheng, CCTV, Beijing.